What's up, Ty? How's it going? Yo, how you doing? I'm all right. Give me one second, and then we'll get started. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. First question will come from uh, Tomer. Hey, Ty. Uh, well, welcome to the playoffs, the first win. Um, just curious what you thought about the the poise you guys you guys had down the stretch, really throughout the game, um, really being able to to withstand a lot of their punches, a lot of their shot making throughout the night. They had another hot shooting night for them. Um, just being resilient, you know, like we've been all year, you know, when our back's against the wall, um, we come out, we fight, we compete. You know, I thought early on, like I said, they made some shots. Um, we still made some a few, get has some game plan mistakes, but uh, overall it was better. You know, wasn't a lot of slip to the rim for dunks and, and um, you know, open threes. They made some, you know, we was helping a little bit on Luca, um, a little over help, but, you know, um, for the most part, just like, I'm, like I said, I'm happy for our guys kept fighting, you know, uh, kept scrapping. Kept clawing, and uh, PG and Kawhi was fantastic. I thought PG really carried us in that first half, and then Kawhi, you know, the second half, you know, really took over the game. So um, that's what we need from those two guys. Reggie chipped in, you know, Marcus made some shots, you know, so like Rondo coming in in that whole second half, picking up Luca full court, wearing him down, and I'm um, attacking the basket, making plays as well. So it was a total team effort. But like I said, Kawhi and PG really, you know, put us on, the, on their shoulders. He'll move over to Andrew. Hey, Ty, when, when you reached uh, 15 points down, you guys cut at 15, kind of eight minutes into the first quarter, uh, you guys take a timeout. Can you take us back to what happens, like the tenor of that timeout, what is said to sort of stabilize you guys? Because after that, obviously, the run begins. Um, just stay the course. It came out, you know, the crowd was <laughs> almost close. The crowd was electric. I mean, just hearing, you know, the fans, you know, um, early on the start of the game, just even in, in the starting lineups, you know, so – um, the fans gave him a lot of juice early, and we just had to weather the storm. I thought we did a great job with that. Um, we didn't get down. We didn't get discouraged. And we just stuck with the game plan. So the second time out, I called, was like, listen, let's just stick with the game plan. Luke was making some shots early, which he always does. And now we just got to be ready to weather the storm, and we got to keep attacking on the offensive end. And uh, like I said, I give our guys credit because they did that. We'll move over to Owen. Hey, Ty, the other day you had said we, we're going to see what the Clippers are made of in this game, and uh, you're right. I was wondering, though, like, what did you learn about Kawhi and PG, maybe not just in this game, but in the last 48 hours that you could only learn about them going through a circumstance like this? Um, just how great they are, you know, um, two great players and, you know, competing at a high level and like I said, on the biggest stage in the playoffs. And like I said, PG has been phenomenal. Kawhi has been phenomenal. And we want to just keep attacking the basket, keep attacking the paint. You know, they want to play small and um, have the shooters out there that we want to just keep attacking and then make them do something different. So, um, the two guys, like I said, we, we got down, you know, um, 0-2, and they weren't discouraged. You know, the, the conversation to the, to the players, the things we have to do to get better and be better, um, they led that. So, um, and you came out and seen that play tonight. So it was, it was just great to see. Move over to Law. Ty, what went into you going back to your original starting line, or at least the starting line that we've been seeing almost all the pre or post break and then what did you decide at halftime uh, that allowed you to feel comfortable switching things up for the second half um just you know going back with Reggie I thought he has pace you know like I said he played great tonight made some big shots you know having 16 points um we were able to run our offense a little better um like I said because him and Pat are different you know Pat's a you know defensive guy who can set the tone defensively but you know, when I started, we were scoring point now, one point per possession. And not saying it was Pat's fault, but we just needed a joke. We needed some more energy. We needed some, you know, attacking the basket, playing with pace. And um, that was a thought with Reggie starting. And I, and I thought he did a great job with that. So, um, like I said, the playoffs, you know, it's a game of matchups. You know, it's a game of, you know, runs, game of wins. And um, you got to do what's best for the team. And, um, you know, Pat Bill was great with it. He said, whatever you need, need me to do, coach, um, I'm all for it. And so, you know, that's how you got to be if you want to win. At, and, and at and at halftime, obviously, you pulled you pulled Zoo uh, for Nick and allowed you to regain or at least keep control of the game. I mean, you had a two point lead at halftime of game two. Third quarter game game got away from you. What helped you just feel like, all right, you know, Nick's prepared for this, and we're going to start the second half this way. I think, um, like I said, defensively, starting with Nico and you know him picking up Luka full court with Kawhi and PG having two fouls and. Um, just trying to harass him, wear him down. I thought him and Ronald really did a great job with that. And then also we were able to switch. You know, we were able to switch more because I thought, you know, Luca really, 
Um, was able to make some shots early on against Zoo, and then when they went uh, big, we got Zoo back in the game. Um, they were trying to attack downhill, and you know, Kyle Stein, who's a dynamic roller, puts a lot of pressure on your defense. And once Luka gets you on the side and gets you on his hip, it's, it's tough. So we just decided to do that so we can switch more and try to put them, make him play more one on one and just try to wear him down. We'll move over to Mark Medina. Hey, Ty, how do you think you guys changed the complexion of the series tonight? Not just because of the win, but the way you guys played under the circumstances? I think, you know, being down 2 0 and um, coming out, taking their best shot early, you know, being down, I think, 19 and on their home floor, and then we come back and win the game the way we did. I mean, I think that shows a lot about us. So, um, you know, I just think, like I said, it means a lot to be down that much in the playoff, in the playoff game on their home floor and to fight back and, you know, come back and take the lead. Um, by double digits, it means a lot. So um, not sure how they're feeling over there right now, but, you know, we figured out, we, we finally figured out, you know, how we want to attack offensively and we um, understand what we need to do defensively and still keep cleaning up our mistakes as best as we can. Okay, we'll take a few more and move over to Justin Russo. Hey, coach. Uh, don't worry. I don't have a Mike Tyson quote for you tonight. So <laughs> uh, Dallas is still shooting 50% from three. They're, you know, it doesn't seem like they're going to cool off, but, for you guys to be able to win this game tonight, and you've been in the other two games late, does that tell you, like, even despite their hot shooting, like, this is a series that you can just take basically by the neck down the stretch of games? Yeah, I, mean, I think so. I mean, like I said, they are, they are hot shooting 51% again tonight from three, you know, and like I said, we, we're in the, at the end of the game, we're still in the game. So um, they have one of those cool shooting nights, and we play the way we've been playing as far as attacking the basket and being aggressive. Um, you know, it can be it can be a totally different series. So, you know, uh, we want to just keep playing our game. You know, we want to take away some of the mistakes we're making when we're giving up the open threes. But for the most part, like I said, we found our offensive rhythm and how we want to play and attack. So now we just got to clean up defensively um, what we want to do and what we want to try to take away. So we still have some mistakes that we got to, you know, take care of. But like I said, I love our resiliency and the way you guys stay together, you know, through some adversity to start the game. Okay, we'll go over to four by and close out with uh, Mason. Hey, coach, congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, was, was there anything kind of said to Marcus, or how did you guys kind of keep his head in the game where it felt like he was cold for so long, and in the second half he finally started returning to the form that he used to have in the regular season? Yeah, just, just you know, take your shots. You know, they're doing a good job of trying to run them off. Um, so you know, just take your shots. If you don't have it, then drive it and make a play for yourself or someone else. You know, don't get discouraged because if you're second in the league in three-point shooting, of course they don't want to give them up to you. And uh, they've been doing a great job, you know, which we, we're supposed to be doing as well. So um, they're doing a good job of trying to run him off. And, um, but tonight, you know, I think we found a way we wanted to attack. And Rob did a good job of getting to the paint and making the extra play. And PG did it. Kawhi did it. So um, if Marcus gets those shots, you know, I, I think he's going to make more than he's going to miss. So I'm um, very excited to see him kind of get his rhythm tonight and hopefully continue going forward. Okay, Mason, go ahead and close up. Hey, Coach. Um, what's been your communication like with with Zoo as he, you know, str sort of struggles dealing with Luca on switches and, and, and getting his minutes reduced uh, because of that? What's what's been your, your talk with him? He's great. You know, um, when I had a talk with him um, this summer about you know starting surge, you know, he just wants to win and he's a team player. You know, I came out halftime and said we're gonna start a deep boat. I mean, he was great. You know, cheering the team on, understanding what we're trying to do, we're trying to win the game and. Um, like I said, Zoo's one of the best. You know, he brings something with me with Matthew Delvado, who's one of my favorites, man. And he's about the team. He's smart. does what you ask him to do. And um, like I said, he was cheering over there. He understood what we were trying to do. And, um, you know, like I said, if you want to win in the playoffs, you got to be able to, you know, adapt. you got to be able to um, also um, sacrifice. And um, Zoo did that for us tonight. So we'll see how it goes next game. All right, Tyler, I'll have for you tonight. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right, I'll call you right back. I'm gonna do an interview. Right. I'll call you right back. So, Raja, how you doing, man? Yeah, All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first question will come from uh, Cameron. Hey, Rondo. So you control the volume. You control the music in the locker room, huh? 
little bit. Come some days. <laughs> uh, man, talk about um, the, the comeback. You got a 19-point comeback tonight. Um, how did you see it from the sidelines? And did that uh, chippiness out there kind of invigorate the team to kind of help you propel you guys to this comeback win tonight? Well, we knew they come out with a, with a hard swing. You know, we took their best punch, I believe, in the first half. But we got going, hit on the shot in the beginning. Uh, but we stayed with the game plan. You know, coach made some great adjustments, and we kept plugging at it uh, one quarter, one possession at a time. Can we move over to Law? What's up, though? Uh, you played for this franchise. Uh, obviously, it didn't go too well uh, six years ago. And this was your first playoff game in this city. And you were greeted with hostility. And you responded with one of the most pivotal roles in this turnaround tonight for the Clippers. Just how did you take that experience preparing for tonight? And how were you able to kind of just accept the moment and play your role? Uh, well, this is what I thrive on. You know, I love playing against all odds. I love playing against people that have doubted me in my, my entire career. Uh, it didn't go well when I was here, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm still in the game and I'm able to uh, rebound you know, from my position here and still win another championship. So my main focus now is to focus on my teammates I have here with me, uh, win one game, and that's all the focus that, that matters. I move over to Tamir. Here we go, John. Congrats on the win. Um, could you just take us through some of what, what some of the discussions have been like? Obviously, you guys have had back-to-back -back days the first two games. Um, what have the discussions been like amongst yourselves? You know, you're one of the leaders of this team. What are, what are the conversations been like going down 0-2, going to Dallas for game three? It's been a lot of conversation. Um, ever since, you know, we've lost game two, even game one, you know, there's been a lot of dialogue after the games in, in the locker room trying to figure out how we can be better. And like I said, we, went to, we got on the plane yesterday, talked about the game. We got off the plane, went over more scout reports and more detail. So it's been uh, a nonstop thing, constantly on my mind personally and on the team as well, just understanding what we have at stake here, uh, the type of talent we have and how we can overcome this, this O2 deficit. Okay, we'll move over to uh, Pavi. What's up, Rondo? Um, you know, I know there's some, uh, Things that you guys did differently schematically when it comes to your defense, but from just watching it, to me, it just seemed like uh, everybody just took more pride in their um, individual. Um, is that something that's fair to say? Absolutely right. We took more pride uh, individually and as well as collectively as a team. Uh, we didn't leave each other on the island tonight, which we did the last game too, and that was a big emphasis as far as just shrinking the floor. You know, Luke is going to do what he does. He's going to have the ball. 103 times out of 108 possessions. So we understand that he's going to get his shots. He's going to get his looks. I think he shot 28, maybe 35 times tonight, including free throws. So uh, he's going to be himself. He's a great player. He's tough to contain, but as a team collectively, uh, we want to understand that, you know, we keep chugging away at it and eventually, you know, things will go our way. I'll move over to Alan. Rajan, what up? Um, you've been through so many playoff battles with Hall of Fame players. I was wondering, what did you learn about Kawhi and PG that you could only learn going through a fire like this down 0-2 and see them respond tonight? Well, they played well. You know, obviously we, we've been around those guys all year long and when we needed most, the big, most important game of the season, those two guys led us again. You know, on both ends of the floor, they took the challenge. They were a lot more aggressive defensively. They think they both had four or five fouls, but, you know, that's what it takes, especially if they're going to play 40 minutes a night to be aggressive defensively and then offensively. Uh, you know, they make everybody else's job easy. Kawhi did a hell of a job tonight, except in the double team. He got off the ball. He didn't force anything along with PG, and they just took the open shots. He'll move over to Miriam. Hey, congrats on the win. Um, you mentioned on TNT the other night that, that th this feels like a championship caliber organization in part because of the championship DNA on the team, but also the unselfishness. I wonder if a night like tonight sort of goes a long way to exemplify that. It definitely does. You know, obviously, backs against the wall. You know, champ shoes in response. So uh, we can't crown ourselves too early, but understanding this have that mindset that uh, when things get, get, get wrong, we got to fight. Tonight we, we stuck to the fight, down 19. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest obstacles we overcome in the playoffs. So um, we haven't done anything special. We won one game. We're going to go over and watch the film tomorrow, see how we can get better, come out Sunday, and hopefully repeat the same, same type of uh, outcome. We'll take a couple more questions and move over to Shane Young and close out with uh, Justin Russo. Last one, that's one last one. Yeah, PG Rocket, y'all want That's one with Shane Young, sorry. Hey, Rajon. Um, I'm just curious. It, it seemed, I think you kind of touched on it there. It seemed like 
down the stretch or in the second half, at least you all to get Dallas in rotation on the backside went with you and the guards as the screeners for Kawhi. Was that something that was a point of emphasis to get the ball moving and get Dallas's defense moving? No, I think Coach Lou made a good adjustment in the second half. You know, I think he saw something that he wanted to attack defensively. Um, and we just kind of made adjustments and went with it. We trusted the players on the floor. Uh, we went small and we were picking them apart. You know, it, was, it was a great team effort. Uh, Senior made a lot of big shots. Jack made shots. You know, Kawhi made the right reads. PG made the right reads as well. So it was a collective team effort, but we're definitely not satisfied. There's a lot to, lot to learn from, uh, from tonight's game. Go back to the drawing board and figure out how to get better. Thanks so that for you. Appreciate it. Oh, how's it going, man? Good. Okay, let's start off with uh, Farbot. APG, hey, congrats on the win. Appreciate uh, it. I just want to know how how hard is it to stay composed when the opposition's hitting twenty threes and they're shooting at this historic rate you're down 19 you know you have over 10,000 people booing you and somehow you guys come out with a double digit win um I mean adversity you know it's just, it's just adversity you got to deal with adversity um we didn't get in, get down on ourselves um we just stayed positive we we uh we rallied um we toughed it out and um you know we, we just stuck to our principles kept playing we'll move over to Justin Russo Hey, PG, uh, congrats on the win. There was a stat shown in the broadcast tonight about how you have upped your drives per game from the regular season to the postseason. You're averaging about 17 drives for, per game in this series. Has that been an added emphasis for you with the lack of rim protection? Uh, coaches talked about them being 29th in rim protection in the league. So has that just been the added emphasis for not only you, but everyone? Like, just get to the rim and just see what can happen? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just playoff basketball. Um, you know, I just, you know, want to attack, put pressure at the rim, um, you know, try to get to the free throw line a little more. Um, but, you know, ma mainly just attacking. Uh, they don't have a, a rim protector. So it's, it's, you know, it's just trying to get there and uh, put pressure at the basket. Um, and if they, if, if the defense collapses, just making plays, but, you know, I'm trying to finish around the rim. He'll move over to Sabrina. Hey, Paul. Um, you guys were obviously very confident after game two, even though you were down 2 nothing in the series. And obviously, you had reason to be. But I'm just curious, where did that confidence come from? Uh, we just felt like we weren't playing our game uh, to begin with, uh, to be down 0-2. Uh, uh, we just felt like we weren't um, playing you know, our style. And um, I thought tonight we got to that. And um, you know, we, this is where we hang our hat on, playing on the defensive side, and we didn't show any defense the first two games. We'll move over to Claudia. Hey, Paul, congratulations on the win. You guys didn't slow down Luca, but locked down the rest of the Mavericks. What was the biggest reason for that great defense? Uh, we just played defense. We played defense, and we helped one another. We shrunk the floor. Um, and uh, again, we just help one another out there. He'll move over to Ohm. Hey, BG, um, you said on uh, the post-game interview with SVP that you guys talked it out and figured it out. I was wondering, what did you guys figure out? And also, um, what did you guys, you and you and Kawhi and this team show everybody tonight? Uh, I mean, we've yet to show anything. We're, uh, we're, we're down 2-1. Um, we haven't showed anything. We're, we're not the favorites. We're not, you know, the, the defending champs. Uh, we haven't showed anything. Um, we got to continue to keep doing it. We got to win this series, um, but it's one game at a time. Uh, we got to win uh, game four, send it back to LA, um, take home for the advantage. Um, but off one win, we haven't showed anything. We'll move to take a few more questions and more to Mark Medina and then Law. Hey, Paul, I, I understand the point you just made, but how do you how do you think you guys at least changed the complexion of this series, not just with the win, but the way you guys played under these circumstances? Uh, I mean, we uh, oh, we play defense. Um, this is the team that we we're, we are, um, it's the team we've been, um, and the team we need to be. Um, the team that's just going to play defense, play hard, 
Um, offensively, we got enough uh, offensive weapons to, uh, you know, get tough baskets and, uh, you know, create easy opportunities as well. But, um, you know, defensively, it's just it's, it's where we got to be great. And um, I thought tonight we had, um, you know, a ton of flashes of that. Okay, go ahead, Law, and, close, and Cameron, you can close this out. Paul, I remember asking you after the game, too, about playing with a smaller lineup with you and Kawhi being the bigger guys out there. You said you'd had to kind of look at it, see how that was going to work. Uh, you guys committed even more to it, played more with Nick Batum, played more with Terrence Mann, and great interior defense. Uh, so how do, how do you feel like those players in particular, Nick and, and Terrence, uh, impact the interior defense? Um, again, we, uh, we use our quickness, we use our athleticism. Um, we, uh, again, we just help one another out. Um, no man was on the island and uh, we rotated and helped each other. Go ahead, Cam, and close this up. Hey, Paul, uh, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, your game, man, was super efficient. Um, 10 for 14 points, 20, uh, 10 for 14 shooting, 27 points. You had one, one turnover. The other game, a lot of the other games, you have multiple turnovers, and you said that was a focus you want to kind of get cleaned up late, late in the season. So talk about your game individually and kind of how that impacted the rest of the group. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I put a ton of work in uh, this season, um, and now it's just about being confident in my game, um, being confident for my team. Um, they trust me. They believe in me. Uh, I believe in the work that I put in. So it's just, uh, you know, now it's, it's, it's just you using the tools um, that I've, I've sharpened and um, just coming out and playing, playing hard, competing, um, and just being in attack mode. All right, thanks, Paul. That's all I have for you. Thank you, guys. All right, have a good night. Uh, Tamir. Hey, Marcus, congrats on the win. Sure. Um, just take me through uh, a uh, the last the conversation the last couple of days, um, having been gone down 0-2. and then secondly, if you can, just you powering through your shooting struggles. You finally made it out today. I had a couple threes. Uh, just walk me through that process and getting getting over that hump. You know, we just you know we just watched film, man. Broke it down, just you know, seeing what we could do better. What we was you know our defense was, was wrong and our offense has been uh, it's been pretty good. Um, we scored 121 points. You know, the second game on um, the headline, like, it's not, I'm not really too much worried about my shooting. Uh, we're still scoring the ball. We mainly focus on defense. So, you know, we went in and we, uh, man, we, we, we watched them three times as a team and, and the players together. And, you know, we just tried to fix some things. And we'll move over to the law. Marcus, you played on. So many playoff teams. You mentioned during the regular season, this is the one of the best teams that you've ever been a part of as far as the togetherness, the connectedness, uh, the coach staff relating, all of that stuff. Uh, when it comes to adversity and your role in, in basically uh, being a stronghold to make sure everybody does what they're supposed to do, how is this? how have you kind of received this O2 deficit and played your role in responding back from it? So we got a, you know, we got a great team for a lot of veterans, um, you know, and the coaches that have been in those moments. Uh, it's not impossible. You know, it's not impossible to come back uh, down a little too. And, you know, we just try to stick together the entire time and keep helping each other, keep talking. You know what I mean? And it might be a good thing that we got down a little too. So now we can battle. We can find out where we at and uh, keep fighting. Man, it was a good win for us. We're not done yet. Go back to the John board tomorrow, see where we can get better. And uh, hopefully we follow one on Sunday. We'll move over to Farbach. Hey, Marcus. Uh, I don't know if you saw it post game, but you know your brother was tweeting some positivity your way during the middle of the game, telling you to shoot him down. Just what does it mean, you know, when you have a brother that's supportive and you got a support system around you when you might be having shooting struggles and you start knocking him down? It means a lot. You know, I talk to my brother at halftime. Uh, you know. You know, let's just let it fly, man. Don't even think about it, let it fly. You know, he's um, you know, telling him I'm the best shooter in the world. So, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it just, it just, you know, the words of encouragement. You know, somebody that's watching the game and see it and, you know, see what's going on and be able to help me out. And, uh, man, I thank him. And, uh, you know, he's been doing that since day one, since we stepped foot in the NBA. 
you know, I always look to him for, you know, encouragement. I always look to him for, you know, to see what he sees on the court and it just helps me. Okay, we'll move over to Owen. Um, Marcus, uh, this team has been through a lot of ups and downs and a lot of playoff adversity. I was wondering what have you learned or what did you see out of Kawhi and PG in the last 48 hours and today that, uh, that you learned something new about them? You know what? I, don't, I wouldn't say it's me learning anything new. You know, those guys are killing me, man. No matter what's being said in the media, no matter what's, what's being said, you know, on the outside world, them guys come in and work their ass off every single day. You know, they don't bitch them on about anything. They come out and they do their job and they do what they best they can do, man. That's all you can ask. No one's perfect. No one's going to make every shot. And, you know, we're, we're just with them, man. We're with them 110 percent, no matter if they play good or they play bad, man. You know, it's a team thing. So, uh, you know, they were with us and we were with them. And, you know, we just going to keep going forward and, you know, block out the outside noise. We'll take a few more questions and move over to Mason. Hey, Marcus. Um, You've been playing the small ball five for spot in the off season, but what's it like uh, now in this game playing the majority of your minutes there, especially, you know, starting at, at small ball five uh, in the second half? What's the adjustment been like at playing at that position? Not really adjusting, man. Just, you know, using my versatility, uh, seeing the floor, you know, screaming hard and, you know, just, just knocking down open shots. Uh, I think it, it's an easy adjustment for me. Uh, you know, I've been doing it all season, so, you know, nothing's really changing. Um, it's just seeing the floor that, you know, for YPG is demanding, you know, double teams and, you know, just being open and getting the ball to side to side and, you know, the guy when I get in or knocking out my shots. Okay, we'll move over to Justin Russo and close out with Cam. Hey, Marcus, if I may, it seemed like there was an, I guess, somewhat of an incident at the end of the game between you and Dorian Finney-Smith when he seemed to come over to the, to the, sorry, say that again. That wasn't me. The incident wasn't between me. Do you know what the incident was, though? Man, we were just trying to win the game. We had what we wanted. You know, it was just, you know, I don't know what, what, what was said or anything like that. I was locked into, you know, my team winning, and that was it. Hey, go ahead, Cam, and close this out. Hey, congratulations on the win, uh, Marcus. Uh, we know you're not one to wait, want to shy away from a, a confrontation. And what do you think about Terrence Mann and his his fight tonight um, down low in the paint and playing yeah. against the big guys, playing as tough as he did? What do you think about that? I love to, man. You know, I've seen him since, since last year. The guy's come in. He works every single day. He wants to be better. Uh, he's a young player in this league that's, that's up and coming. Um, and, you know, he's fearless. And we love that about him, man. I'm happy that he got a chance to be able to get out there and uh, do what he do and, you know, shit, need a little bit of that. All right, thanks, Marcus. That's all I have for you tonight. Have a good night, man. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Kawhi, how's it going? Uh, first, so first question will come from uh, Tomer. There we go. Hey, Kawhi, uh, congrats on the win. Um, last post game, uh, you said get stops about seven, eight, maybe nine times. Um, I think you held Dallas to, uh, what was it, 44% today. How do you feel like you guys executed defensively? Uh, you know, from the two, from the field goal, yeah, I think we did a good job. Um, they still uh, made a uh, half their threes to make. Um, so we still got some work to do. Um, they're shooting, they're shooting, they're shooting the ball great, but we got to give a little credit. Some of those uh, are contested and um, you know, they're, they're knocking them down. Okay, we'll move over to the law. Why, how are you feeling? Uh, three straight 40 minute games for you. And that hasn't happened in a couple of years and that rarely happens period. So uh, you've been incredible with your efficiency, but uh, you know, how, how are you feeling after this workload? Um, I mean, it's playoff basketball. Uh, you know, the adrenaline is going to get me going. And uh, you know, my mind is tired. I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape, so. Uh, you know, got to do whatever it takes at this point. Um, but like you said, I mean, I think last year I played some 40 minute games uh, in a row in the playoffs, so it's nothing really new. Okay, we'll move over to Andrew. Kawhi, uh, Rondo was telling us about how there were conversations between 
you guys on the plane, uh, going over scouting reports, there were conversations about what had to happen. Um, Ty Luce talked to us about how when the conversations were about what needed to change, you and Paul were helping lead that. Other than getting stops, what was the message you felt like you wanted to get across the most the last 48 hours for the rest of the team? Um, I mean, that was the number one thing. Uh, it was our defense. Uh, we got to play better defense. Uh, that's it. I mean, I mean, you know, being down 2 well, and I'm you know, still being down, just keeping up composure and having faith in ourselves, pretty much. Um, but like I said, that, that was it. We needed to get stops. We need stops. We'll move over to Owen. Hey, Kawhi, you've often talked about the last two years about what um, this team needs to go through the ups and downs and really kind of endure adversity. Um, what have you seen from this team in the last 48 hours? And what did you see tonight? What did they uh, show you? We won a basketball game. We came out, uh, kept our composure, um, you know, in that first quarter. And we was able to um, get a win. But we haven't done it. We haven't done it. So we won one game. Can we take a few more and move over to Miriam? Hey, Kawhi. Um, you guys obviously, you said that, you know, you're happy with the defense today. Was was that a matter of sort of, you know, simplifying things a little bit and like tactical adjustments or is it sort of like an effort mental thing or, or a combination? Um, just basically just mental effort. Um, then, then paying, uh, paying attention to detail. Um, that's it. Um, you know, this playoff basketball, you're playing against some of the greatest talent in the, in the world, and you know, you, uh, you have to have attention to detail. Okay, we'll move over to Shane Young and then close out with uh, Cameron. Hey, Kawhi, it looked like you guys found real success for Marcus there when you started attacking switches and having Rondo screen and flash to the middle and create. Is that something that you all wanted to do more of in this game to help, you know, get Dallas going and moving around? Um, no, not really. Uh, I told you what we wanted to do. I mean, I'm happy that he's able to get a rhythm and make shots. Um, you know, that's big for us. We made some big shots. But, um, I mean, you guys know what I said. We need to tap. Okay, we'll close out with uh, Cameron. Hey, Kawhi, congratulations on the W tonight. I want to ask you. You cut out. Your mic is on mute. You're muted. My, okay. my bad. My bad. Um, I want to ask you talked about getting, um, having energy, playing with energy and getting stops. Um, will you talk about Terrence Mann's effort tonight and how what he brought to the team, his scrappiness, his grittiness, his energy? Uh, would you would you speak on that for a moment? Um, Another guy that, uh, you know, like you said, plays scrappy, brings energy, um, you know, can attack the paint, uh, very athletic, uh, can shoot the ball, and um, he's not afraid of the moment. So uh, not saying anyone else is, but, you know, that's what that's what he's bringing, bringing for us. And, uh, he did that tonight. He's got in there and rebound the basketball. And, uh, he played well. All right, thanks, Kawhi. That's all I have for you. All right, thanks, everyone. Uh, have a good night.